In this video, we are doing a max cushion shootout. Hey, what is up everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing, people? Now, let me know in the comments, what is your go-to max cushion sort of daily trainer mm, long run show? Let me know in the comments. Is it the Glide Ride 2? Is it Hoka Clifton 8? Is it Glycerine 19 or is it Triumph 19 or Max Road 5 or any others? Uh, I know there's the Fresh Foam V3 or V more, whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. But let me know in the comments which one you prefer. But I wanted to pick these because this is my favourite Max Cushion sort of daily trainer. Um, it's versatile and it's just awesome basically. Um, and this is sort of the new kid on the block. So I thought it'd be a great video to do. So let's get stuck in. Right, so let's do stats and features first. And let's start with the Triumph 19. Now this shoe is 145 pounds. Yes, 145 pounds, I did say that right. Uh, it weighs just over 11 ounces, UK 9.5 fits true to size. They've updated the upper, they stuck a mono mesh upper on it. Uh, still got the Power Run Plus midsole. Eight mil drop, plenty of stack in there. Uh, decent wide platform. It's the same rubber outsole uh, as in the previous models. It's got a new lacing system on it, which creates a decent midfoot lockdown. There's loads of foam on there um, and in the, in the uh, tongue as well. So it's a super comfortable place to be. Uh, yeah, I think that's it on the Socony. And then we've got the Max Road 5. Now we've got Hyperverse midsole, loads of it. It's got a six mil drop. We've got a H plate, so we've got a bit of carbon platingness going on. That's all about a little bit of propulsion, but also stability, which I think is important. You've got the pods on the outsole, so shaved weight. Um, six mil drop, I said. Uh, power Run and um, Power Run Hyperburst midsole. You've got a brand new uh, mesh upper. They got rid of the knit feel. Got some overlays on it. Traditional sort of lacing, but you, again, you've got like a an overlay around there to help in terms of lacing it down. Do you have a gusseted tongue in this? Uh, no, no gusseted tongue on it. Fits true to size, uh, UK nine and a half. We're gonna weigh them up. Uh, the shoe, just so you know, is 130 pounds on the Sketches website, but I have seen it cheaper. Um, and it's 9.75 ounces. So nearly two ounces lighter than this bad boy. Okay, so Max Cushion Daily Trainers slash Medium Long Run Shoes. Um, they're a funny old uh, shoe. <laughs> you, like I said, you've got like Clifton A, uh, Glycerine 19, all those sort of shoes uh, in the mix with these. Uh, Glide Ride 2 as well. I like to use the Max Road 5 for um, easy daily miles is where I've been finding um, it's really working for me on those longer runs. Because I'm marathon training, I've been sort of going into my marathon shoes. Um, so like my Socrates, Endorphin Speeds, Pros, that kind of stuff. Also I've been using the Stability Shoe um, for the easier miles. So I've been using the Max Road 5 for those easy recovery ru uh, runs, um, and just sort of like, yeah, medium efforts in terms of distance. So like six, seven, eight miles, stuff like that is where it's so comfortable. It's ridiculous. It is so, so, it's so stable. It's incredible. It really does. And I, and I just love it. I really, I really do. And it's so much lighter, even in hand than the Triumph 19. The Triumph 19, the positives is, is the room in the toe box. It really has a lot of room into, and, and height as well. So if you're one of these people who got, suffers from toenails, or the, like black toenails, I'd have a look at this. Lacing system's great, but there is a lot of foam in the shoe. I mean, a lot of foam. So if you're not liking a lot of real estate around your foot, you might not like it. Um, the Power Run Plus midsole is soft, it's comfortable. It's um, softer than the Hyperburst in this, but it's not too um, soft. Uh, it's just the right blend, actually. The traction on the outsole is great, and the durability is much better on this than uh, on the Socony. And on the Socony, uh, on the sketches, it's not, I don't know whether it will, but you can see where I'm chewing up the Hyperburst down the canal and tow paths along there. Um, but that's just, well, it's just the hyperburst. It is what it is. But it's just a lot of shoe. I mentioned it in the other videos I've done on this shoe. It is a lot of shoe. And towards those sort of ends of those longer runs, you do feel the weight. You do feel the, the, the whole shoe on your foot. With this thing, you don't. Um, and that's the biggest sort of plus, I would say. It's just effortless in the Max Row 5. Um, you can pick up the pace if you want to. So if you wanted to put a little bit of gold pace in, um, it can do it. Where the Triumph really does struggle to pick up in terms of pace. It's not really there for that. 
Um, but it hasn't got any sort of form of rocker in the shoe, you know, like a shift, for example. So it is your more traditional feeling, sort of medium distance, long run shoe. It doesn't fit in the daily trainer uh, arena. I think um, there's better shoes out there for daily training, uh, in particular even from Saucony. Um, so I don't know, I, I, I struggle with the whole Triumph shoe. I just, I just can't see why it exists anymore, to be honest with you. I think I mentioned it in the original video, I said it's so 2019, and I kind of stick by that. Where the Max Road 5, although, uh, although I appreciate sketches aren't for everybody, and there's a misperception out there about, you know, the sort of demographic, let's say, for sketches shoes, uh, and I know, again, how hard they are to get hold of, but they've done a fantastic job here in the UK to, to get them out to, to the people in the UK. It really is a good shoe, people. I can't recommend it enough, the Max Road 5. Um, especially over the Triumph 19.